Hello viewers, welcome to my Doctor Who themed YouTube channel, Who Ventures. And in this video I am reviewing Series 10 Episode 3 and this episode is called Thin Ice. And I really enjoyed this episode because of all the amazing set details and the costumes and I just love all that stuff. I just love that detail. That's this is one of the aesthetics that I love with all the steampunk and the 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 old fashioned costumes. I just love all that. See, so, uh, uh, this is very sort of atmospheric episode, and it is really good. So let me go through all my notes. So we start off seeing the elephant. Uh, the elephant is really cute. We find out we're on the Thames, February 4th in 1814 and, and the TARDIS are always looking for trouble and and then they start, then Bill's worried about because their um, slavery was like, um, t she says slavery is still totally a thing and she's worried she'll um, get into trouble because of that, because of the bassist idiots and then the doctor says go get a dress in the word J room and she's like eh, she likes trouble and she's got dresses and she says um, that a little bit low-key in love with the TARDIS and then the doctor says me too and I'm melted it's like oh that's Oh, the best double thing ever. Oh, that was really sweet. And then there's um, a guy, um, he gets knocked into on the bridge. I think they walk past him and Doctor knocks into him. And then he, fall, he, fall, he drops his basket of stuff over the bridge and it goes in the water and there's a great big sea creature and it sort of makes whale sounds but it's sort of like a gigantic anglerfish type creature and then we have the credits and then the TARDIS, we see the TARDIS because they've already left the TARDIS but the TARDIS has detected a life form and it's showing the map of the Thames and, and this life form has taken up loads of the Thames and it's like, I know, they're in trouble and then we see all the things on the frost fair and it's really fun and then um, we get the bit from Bill what if I step on a butterfly and then the doctor makes a joke about why well, you had a friend called Pete he stepped on a butterfly and then so that was a little bit like Martha when she asked the 10th doctor um, what if what will happen so that was a bit repetitive of that but it was different so it was good and then there's the kids in this really good I thought these were very good and the cute little kid I'm sorry I don't know if I'll remember all the names but the cute little kid was giving Bill a flyer and then um, then Bill got but what if it changes history and the doctor says don't overthink it just it's just a flyer and then there's a boat one of them um swing boats and i want to go on that that looks fun and then there's somebody with a hula hoop stall and when i was little we, we had a fair and my dad ran the hula hoop stall <laughs> and he had to drive the waistcoat on and everything <laughs> so i thought that was cute And then she, Bill's excited, she wants to try everything, but there's some really dodgy food. So she's like, uh, maybe not everything, because they're trying to um, sell hearts for eating. And then it looks like the doctor's eating part a heart, which looks really gross. And he's like, oh, it's my favourite. <laughs> like, ew, that's a bit gross. And then there's um, a wrestling act, and the doctor's saying, Oh, it's not as good as zero gravity wrestling with tentacles and a bit of magic. <laughs> well, that was fun. And then 
we get the comment from Bill. It's a bit more black than in the movies, and and the I liked how they did this. The doctor says, "Well, so was Jesus it's whitewashing." So I thought that was good how they brought it up. And then the pie man is really funny. I liked his personality, and he's got the pies, and you have to toss a coin to get a good pie, and then. Um, but Belle loses so she gets the the second prize which is I think it's like a fish pasty or something but the doctor he steals a pie a good pie and then the doc Bill seeing the lights under the eyes and then she realised the doctor has actually seen the lights under the eyes too and ah oh, this fabulous costumes and then there's a drunk guy and he's wandering into the dangerous section of the ice and he falls in and then the doctor's talking about her, the lights of bioluminescence but then the doctor gets conned and the kids nick his screwdriver and then there was a sign in the background it said books and I got excited because I want to go wherever that is and buy their books See that was fun. I really like this episode. And then, <clears throat> and then the kid was playing with the sonic screwdriver, and because um, something to do with the fish being drawn to the sonic. I don't know if it was because of the light or the vibration or the sound, but the little boy who nicked the. Sonny, he got eaten by the big fish creature and Kitty, his his friend. And then there's a bit where the uh, spider, the boy, his his arm is still stuck out the eyes holding the Sonic. And the special effects were sort of um, very classic Who special effects. I thought that was quite fun. And then Doctor got the Sonic back, but then Bill was really upset about it all. And then there was uh, the serious conversation with how do you deal with people dying? And the and have you ever mur has the Doctor ever murdered anyone? And then there's the Doctor saying he's 2,000 years old. I liked how he said I'm 2,000 years old and it never had time for the luxury of outrage and this, this episode stuff like Bill realising that it's not just all fun and games travelling with the doctor and then they go back to <clears throat> the kids and they're in li uh, living in sort of a tent for like shack and their, their fingers they lure people to the fair and then um, <clears throat> somebody pays them so the doctor wants to know who pays them and then he gets all the pies and he gives out the pie so I don't know if that was a TARDIS hat because he only had one pie before and suddenly he's got a ton of pies and then it's story time with the doctor I thought that was bit was adorable <coughs> that, was <coughs> <coughs> that was so sweet so I this, my throat's going to faint because I was singing loads of steps this morning. <laughs> so anyway, and then we got Bill reassuring the children. And then I liked how the um, Kitty, she was saying, but what do you do? You're just shouting at him. I thought that was interesting how it made Bill realise that you can't just be angry that she's got a part to play too. And then they find out that um, there's a bad man and he's got a tattoo on his hand and he and he deals with the kids and then the doctor saying, hang tight, ladies, and he's all down with the kids and he's really funny. I thought that was good. He says, awesome. And, <laughs> and then they have the plan and the doctor says right there's a big thing eating things what shall we do let's get eaten so they put on the old timey wimey diving costumes i love that aesthetic too i love the old time diving helmets i just think they're awesome and then 
Bill's asking the doctor, have you got magic alien powers? Um, and then I just thought, oh, it's such a great atmosphere because it's all foggy and oh, the atmosphere is amazing. And then the lights gather around Bill and then she gets tucked under the ice and the doctor goes bingo, then runs like a penguin and jumps in. And they're in under the Thames and the little anglerfish are working for the big whaley anglerfish creature. So that's like the children working for the big boss. And then they see the big eye on the creature and that was really cool. And then the pie man uh, above the ice, pie man's fishing. And then um, Bill and the doctor climb out the ice in front of him and he gets all scared. And the the angler fish, angler big whale fish was making these sad noises and uh, like despair and loneliness. Um, Bill was like thinking it's an alien but it's just one of our, one of Earth's wonders of the world. So um, the doctor generally wanted to learn the coin trick so I thought it was cute. And then they ask about a man with a tattoo and the guy says, and by the docks there's like loads of tattoos. And, and then they find this setup where they're judging the temps. And then he, the doctor shows Bill that he has psychic paper and she reads it as he's working for the palace. So I thought that was awesome. It was like, that Bill's like, oh, he's so crazy. He works for the palace. And then they find out what then he's working for Lord Sutcliffe I'm not quite sure I haven't researched that up yet so I didn't really get um, the relevance of the Lord Sutcliffe thing and then they're making dredging this stuff up from the Thames and it's poo it's the big sea creatures poo and they use and dredging it up and point, turning it into brick and they're saying, where do they take these bricks? And then it says, and then the doctor says, well, Hampton's code for the steel mill. And I just love the doctor negotiating. I love that bit. And then it turns out they were harvesting this poop because it burns hotter and longer than coal. And even burns underwater. Then we got a really funny bit where Bill nearly swore. I thought that was funny how they... She said, no, shh, and then they cut to the next scene, I thought that was funny. And then, that, that, I know this, what the technical term is, but I can't quite remember, but that thing with, where you could see the positions of the planets, I love that. I love that detail. Oh my gosh. And then we have the Doctor's Doctor Disco. <laughs> from the Fairford Club I thought that was fun and then the doctor I thought it was good the doctor saying can't that uh, now don't get angry Bill don't lose your temper because I have really um, apart obviously not the the racism issue but the losing your temper at injustice I totally relate to that because if I was the component I think I'd be screaming and punching thing <laughs> I think I would have punched half a dozen people by now on this adventure and nicked half a dozen pies and nicked the elephant just for no reason really. Just can we take the elephant back to Africa please doctor? So I don't know how I would have got through the doors of the TARDIS. Oh hang on, yes we can um, land the TARDIS around the elephant good point yeah. so yeah because when I watch the soaps and stuff I I scream at the TV when there's something that needs fixing or people keep lying or whatever I just I literally scream at the tally and scare my cat so I think I would be allowed and ragey companion and <laughs> probably not help with negotiations but then uh, the posh guy who I've just um, wrote him down as racist twat 
in my notes because um, um, he's racist and he gets the doctor gives him a nice punch so I thought that was cool and then the the twat's reasoning for making the biggest and the best brush bear to feed people to the big creature is that the creature's poop is um, more efficient than coal and it doesn't kill all the men going down the coal mines but he's still a racist twat so then the doctor does an amazing speech which I, w I was writing a lot of notes so I I'm sort of missed a bit of it because I was so busy writing notes because there's so much in this episode but the doctor's speech was awesome and then the doctor and Bill get tied up and put in a carriage and then Bill was saying 2,000 years oh, that's how long it takes you to make that speech and then the the twat guy is using like rocket fuel and he's using fireworks to bring loads of the people onto their eyes so that you can blow up their eyes and then the people all fall in the Thames and they all get eaten by the big fish creature and the big fish creature then poops out a load more poop so you can make more money and then um, Bill is like so his first choice is like ah, ah, ah. so I thought I was a bit classic he was screaming but nobody could hear it because of the frost fair going on because all the noise and reveling from the frost fair so nobody could hear it anyway so I thought that was a, a good classic who nod and then the doctor's sonicking them and he does a clever thing of he uses the sonic to attract the little anglerfish creatures and then the servant guy comes in and says what do you think you're doing and he grabs the sonic off him and, cause, and then the fish gather around the servanty guy the, and he gets eaten and then the doctor gets his sonic back. And then um, it's the big decision and is the doctor saying, what are you going to do, Bill? Are we going to save the people or save the whale? It's your planet, it's your choice. And the doctor is kind of sneaky there because he always interferes with our planet. So, but he is like, showing Bill the consequences of um, time travel and travelling with the Doctor and she learnt a lot this episode I thought that was really good and then Bill says we should save the big fish creature and then the Doctor says well we need to evacuate the frost bear so they did that and then um, the twat guy was trying to blow up the ice to drown up the body but the doctor had fixed it with his sonic screwdriver and had done another clever thing and instead the chains um, blew up on the big creature so it got free and then the evil twat guy he got eaten so that was all right and then the big fish um, was free to make it back to the sea so that was sweet and then the little kiddies the doctor was changing all the legal documents so all the little kiddies could have their of the big house. So I thought that was a rather Dickensian. God bless us, everyone. I thought that was quite Dickensian and cool. And then, then all the kids are great. And then we get back to the office, back to the office at the university. And um, Nardole and the doctor's right, Nardole. Um, they got back just about the same time that Nardo was making hot drinks and he made a tea and coffee mix like he came in and said here's your tea, I put a bit of coffee in it just change it up a bit I love tea and coffee mix it's like it's toffee or tea, toffee it's a toffee 
I love that. I love that you read it. Ah, oh, I just, I'm just really tickled by his put a bit of coffee and the tea. I know, I know so much of these episodes just tickle me. Just the local things, like the sign with books on. That we really excited. And the fact that he put a bit of coffee and the tea, that we be really excited. <laughs> I just get excited by the tiniest things. It's just, I get really, really excited. And then Bill's looking for an article about, with headlines, because she thinks, well, we changed the world, it's, it's got to be front and centre. And then Bill finds her an old newspaper article. And it shows that the the kiddies got on really well of their big new house, and they was really happy. And then the doctor was saying, flip a coin, the TARDIS stays. And I didn't quite understand that last line. It says, flip a coin, the TARDIS stays, and fifth, flip a coin, Bill goes, or something. I wasn't quite sure what that meant. Oh, maybe he was doing the coin trick on Nardo. I don't know. I didn't really get that bit. And then we see a bit with Nardo and it gets very mysterious and he's down at the vault and he's saying, because he's really angry that the Doctor's gone off world, but he hasn't. The Doctor's saying, well, I, I lost my tea dunking clothes. And the Doctor said, I only went in the past, I didn't actually go off world. And he technically didn't go off world, he just went into the past. But Nardo's so pissed cause about this oath. And then Nardole's having a right grump on and he goes down, to, goes down to the vault and said, I didn't ask to be reassembled. So I thought, that's a friction of tension between Nardole and the Doctor. Hmm. And then um, there was, there's knocking from inside the vault. I can't remember if it was four knocks each time. Hmm. So, and then Nardole saying, you are going nowhere. It's like, hmm. And, and he's like, the doctor may be um, rubbish, but I'm looking after this and you are staying in that vault. So my theory is, spoiler warning, if you don't want to know any spoilers at all, give you a little bit of time to avoid the spoiler. Right, spoiler warning, uh, my theory is that one of the masters is in the vault and I think other people have had this theory so and the other ma uh, master is going to um, get them out so it's either Missy in the vault and Sim, John Sim master is going to crack Missy out the vault or John Sim master's in the vault and Missy's going to crack John Sim master out the vault but earlier on uh, in the pilot, uh, the phone bank, and they off uh, at Bill's place, and it was da 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 da. The ringtone was the doctor's, or as the master's, heartbeat drums, and said, "Are you out with Neville?" And somebody on Galley B said, "He could be using Neville as a Neville Chamberlain, so Neville could be the master, send master with Missy in the vault." So that sounds interesting and that gives gave a lot more intriguing thing. And then next week's trailer looks awesome because I spotted if Mandeep Dillon. I think that's her name, Mandeep Dillon. And she's from Some Girls, which is one of my favourite programmes. I think it was her. There's only like a few second glimpse. But they look like a really fun gang to share a house with and I hope they don't all get eaten because then my universe self wants to go and hang out with them. Because they're a really fun gang. It's like, oh, they look really fun. And so I'm excited for next week's but this week's was so awesome and I really, really enjoyed it. So if I've been wobbling a bit on this video, my legs have been shaking with excitement all the way through. So if you, I look a bit wobbly, that's what's happening. I can't stop my legs shaking about because it's so exciting. 
<laughs> so I loved this episode, I just loved all the details and I can't wait for the rewatch because obviously I can rewatch it without worrying about taking notes and absorb all the details and I'm so excited to have a nice week nice week long discussion all about it obviously the discussion goes on after a week but I'm enjoying all the discussion on Galifu be so excited to discuss it and ah, oh, so it's like I'm just so excited to get really excited Oh, I love this episode. It was so awesome. So, I hope you have enjoyed this review and thank you for watching. Yay!